What is going on guys? Another day. I've been doing this Monday, literally through Friday, working away on this truck. You're not seeing these videos every single day, back to back to back. I'm spacing them out every other day just because it's kind of hard to do all the editing and all the work and get everything uploaded same day, so I'm kind of trying to pace it a little bit. We had a good amount of progress yesterday. We got a lot of the frame sanded down, wire brushed down, and then painted. We didn't do the inside part of the frame, like the inside part between like the front axle and the back axle. That has not been painted yet. It was wire brush, but it has not been painted yet because we ran out of paint. I did have somebody comment yesterday, and I don't even know why I didn't think about this, but they were like, you should definitely consider replacing your track bar before you reinstall your tie rods and ends and stuff. And I don't know why I didn't even think about that, but I do know that like with my wife's truck, for example, the track bar caused a major problem with death wobble at one point. At least that's what the shop said that the problem was because the track bar was real loose. And I don't know for sure if this one is loose or bad or what, but it's not that hard to swap out while we're already in here. So I'm gonna take that person up on that comment and suggestion and just get it done. Cause I'm pretty sure I could just stick my impact gun right there, unzip that, and then unzip the other one. Neither of those are hard to get to right now with everything off. And then just swap it out with a brand new one. And it could just save me a ton of headache and complication of not having to do it. If I were to just do it now and not wait until I actually have a problem with it and then I've got all the stuff, wheels, tires, and tie rods and ends and everything put back in and now I've gotta like work around all that or pull it all back out to be able to get to it. I'm gonna be picking up that part soon so we can do that probably on Monday or Tuesday morning and get started on that because everything else should also be in by then. Let's get to the next step that we can work on right now. I have, again, it says that there's tons of parts on the way. They all say that they're out for delivery. How true that is, I don't know. But here are some headlights that I bought for this truck. And I went with a two-piece set. They're like a black and chrome look. So I've already got the bulbs that I want. I like simple headlight setups on these second gens. I've seen some crazy looking ones and I've seen a lot that are like the generic projector ones that you can get online. And I just have never, the ones that I've always bought have never done me good. Like I bought two, three, four hundred dollar sets and they always suck. So I just decided to go with this setup. It's a two piece, which is what's already in there, but it's a two piece with like a black and chrome housing and it's gonna go very nicely with this truck. The wheel and tire setup is gonna match this perfectly. So my grandfather, when I bought him this truck, I came back up the very next weekend and I brought him a big box of gifts. And one of those gifts were these black and chrome Ram mud flaps. And he loved these mud flaps like crazy. Like he opened up, he's like, these are the coolest mud flaps. I like, think these are so awesome. Like, yeah, of course I want these on the truck. Like he was so excited about it. They're black and chrome. The headlights are black and chrome. I think you know where I'm going with the wheel and tire setup. So there's your little tidbit of insight for the wheel and tire setup that's going to be going on this truck. Let's get to swapping out these headlights and hopefully by the time we get the headlights swapped out, more stuff shows up because again, you know, stuff's supposed to be showing up, but we'll see. So I'm going to get to swapping these out. Maybe if nothing shows up, I have about two hours. Maybe I could run down to the parts store, grab a track bar, and at least start on the process of swapping it. We'll see what we get done. I'm gonna start in the headlights and then we'll move on and see where we go. getting the headlights in. Yeah, I did have to make some small modifications for them to work though because they came broken. I mean the small tabs at the base here, right there, are broken on both sides. So what I did as a remedy for now is I'll use one of these headlights as an example. Here's the passenger side. Here's this little tab that on this new headlight is broken, this little tab here. This is what it's supposed to look like, and that screw is supposed to go in there and stabilize this corner piece. I took those screws out of these old headlights, and then there's a 
tab on the back of this corner piece right there that goes through to the main housing, like the main frame of the headlight assembly, like and what it mounts to. And there's a hole that's pre-drilled there on the back and you're not supposed to put anything in there. But what I did is I took the screw out of these old headlights and the same exact hole is on the um, new aftermarket headlights and it goes through this tab that's on the main frame that holds the assembly of headlight together and I put a screw in there. It'll just keep that corner piece from backing out which will keep that lined up, the slide up in here lined up and it'll keep that bottom tab all lined up because with that screw fasten into that hole there, none of it can back out. So all that being said, at least for the time being, that is what I decided to do. They're only like 80 bucks for that set. When you don't get anything fancy and you just get like two piece headlights that you buy your own bulbs and there's no crazy LEDs or anything like that, they're pretty cheap, you know, so I was like, whatever, I'm gonna make these work for now because it's still the look that I wanna go with. Given that deer season starting in like three weeks here, I'm gonna take some feedback, check a couple cameras, I'll catch back with you guys at the truck here in a bit. If you want to get entered to win this 2017 6.7 Power Stroke, it's an F250, plus five grand, your last day. So head on over to the store if you want to get entered, get those last minute entries. Every order you place adds up to an overall amount for you. They all combine and give you your grand total. So you can never place too many orders and you can never get too many entries. It only takes one, but of course, the more entries in your favor, the better. Every $1 is 30 entries to win plus. You can win additional bonus entries by spinning the wheel on the website. Take advantage of the deal. Get entered to win this thing. We are on the road back home. I did, however, just pick up a new track bar for the truck, but I am unfortunately now out of time. Maybe Monday I'll see you, if not Tuesday. But by that time, it'll be the last day of the giveaway to win this truck, plus the cash. So don't waste too much time. I'll catch you guys back here in just a bit. Welcome back. It has been about 72 hours since I filmed the previous clips. We're going to start to tear into this truck a little bit further, and I'm hoping we can get most of it buttoned up today. I just got back from Fort Wayne and uh, just rolled in less than an hour ago, and I'm ready to tear into this thing and get it moving along. Pretty much every part left that we needed to complete this, aside from tint and exhaust work. We've got bumper parts. we got bumpers. we got more bumper parts. We've got front end parts, steering components, stabilizer for the steering component there. We've got everything. We got some interior pieces even. I mean, we get a lot of stuff, some more exterior lighting upgrades. So we're just gonna keep on working, try to get as much done as we can. Wishing I could just forgive and forget. I'm sick of all these thoughts that are stuck in my mind, my mind, my mind. And all these places that I go inside my head Try to replace the memories with silhouettes But I know things only heal with time So I will strive to be a better man And I will die following my every plan And you'll slowly fade away with time I'm sick of all these thoughts that are stuck in my head I'm sick of wishing I could just forgive and forget I'm sick of all these thoughts that are stuck in my mind, my mind, my mind I'm sick of all these thoughts that are stuck in my head I'm sick of wishing I could just forgive and forget I'm sick of all these thoughts that are stuck in my mind, my mind, my mind I'm sick of all these thoughts that are stuck in my head I'm sick of wishing I could just forgive and forget I'm sick of all these thoughts that are stuck in my mind Stuck in my head 
I'm sick of wishing I could just forgive and forget I'm sick of all these thoughts that are stuck in my mind, my mind, my mind I'm sick of all these thoughts that are stuck in my head I'm sick of wishing I could just forgive and forget I'm sick of all these thoughts that are stuck in my mind, my mind, my mind I'm sick of all these thoughts that are stuck in my head I'm sick of wishing I could just forgive and forget I'm sick of all these thoughts that are stuck in my mind, my mind, my mind I'm sick of all these thoughts that are stuck in my head I'm sick of wishing I could just forgive and forget I'm sick of all these thoughts that are stuck in my mind Here it is, in all of its glory, about 90% done. I'm so happy with this right now. I mean like, you guys will not be able to understand how happy I am right now to see this truck in this condition. What we did today was a whole bunch more than I was originally planning on, and I'm gonna go over everything right now. I'm gonna park it tonight because it's already, it's almost eight o'clock. But first thing in the morning, I am gonna take it to get an alignment done. So let's go over the things that we got done today. And this is in about seven hours time I was able to do these things. New rear bumper, new bumper pads on top, new hardware, mounting hardware for the bumper, new tail lights. They're OEM style with a tint and they're still just using bulbs, there's no LEDs. I like LEDs, but in this truck, I wanted to do this style because it's aftermarket, but it's more like OEM plus than it is like totally aftermarket. And I feel like it doesn't look as cheap as some of the other options are for just like the LED tail lights. I just didn't want to put in a set of tail lights that, you know, in a year you have like half the LEDs like burn out on it. We did do a black smoked third brake light or bed cargo light. Anthem Avengers, guys. These are the black and milled, the gloss black and milled Anthem Avengers 20 by nine, zero millimeter of offset. I know for the guys that like the stance, there's, no, there's not really a lip on this wheel. I mean, there's a little one. It's about an inch and a half maybe, but they're 20 by nines, wrapped in 33 by 12 and a half R20, Venom Power Terra Hunter XTs. All terrain on this, I wanted to do something that was off-road capable because I do a lot of deer hunting. I do pull off into fields and stuff go back onto some trails, stuff like that. Occasionally for that aspect, I don't do like off-roading necessarily, but I do get off into some fields and stuff sometimes when I'm retrieving deer, just pulling back somewhere to go hunt. So I did want something with some off-road capability, but I didn't want something that was gonna be like ridiculously just knobby and obnoxious with crazy stance that's chipping, you know, paint halfway up the whole side of the truck. So felt like a good combination to go with on this truck. At least for the time being, this is what I thought was gonna look good. Huge shout out to Anthem, guys. Anthem has been with us literally since 2018 in terms of like when we need something, they're right there. They're always the first to jump on board with any project and anything that we've ever got an idea for. They're right there. They're very easy to get a hold of. Great customer service. Anytime I have a question, they answer it. All around, no complaints. Anthem, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for coming through on this. Just a huge thank you for that. It just topped off the look of this thing and it looks amazing. Coming around to the front, we did this in the earlier part of the video. We did a two piece with a smoky chrome with the chrome strip on the side, not the amber. I am gonna swap out those bulbs with LEDs, just don't have any on hand today. The bumper is actually still the original bumper, but I got new plastics for the lower portion and the top pad here. So the top pad is brand new in the gray plastic down low, that is also brand new. And I wanted to keep that bumper because I didn't see any major issues with it. The back of it's not all rotted out. It's actually in good shape. The bar itself is in really good shape. The plastics just had a bunch of broken clips, but everything snapped in great, looks really good. And again, it doesn't look crazy aftermarket, but it's a good look for this truck and it's a look that I'm happy with. Now I would get down under the thing, but I've got it running right now and it's getting kind of dark, so there's not much lighting under there. Get new tie rods, inner and outers, a new track bar. So not sure how well you could see that down there, but we'd get, we did get all the new sway bar links, sway bar, tie rods, inner and outers, um, new steering stabilizer down there. We got all that done today. 
and it, I mean, it looks really, really good. And I am not taking this down the road because although I did take measurements to try reinstalling the new tie rods and ends as perfect as I could, this thing's gonna need an alignment and I'm not gonna take it down the road, chance of, you know, it being way too far out of where it should be and then causing any kinds of issues. But there's an alignment shop like two minutes from me, so I'm actually gonna just swing by over there in the morning and get this done and then we can start driving this thing. So, so excited. I think I got most of the list. Let me go through my, my checklist here in my mind. Oh, we did, um, we did put a brand new dash bezel in as well. I don't know if you guys remember, the other one was all busted and cracked. This one is excellent. I mean, it's in really good shape. I do, need, I do need to still get a dowel for this. Fix the headliner in the front and rear where it's sagging a little. Throw some tint in here. New exhaust system on the truck. And then it'll be like right where I want it other than some airbags in the rear and other stuff that I'm sure I'm gonna wanna change down the road. But in terms of the current look and outcome that I'm going for, we are right there to near completion and I am so stoked for that. This was a very action-packed one. We had so much to do. I didn't want to do a step-by-step -step on every single part and every bowl and you know it's just it's one of those things where like you got to kind of pick what you want to do and I just wanted to document the progress. I don't necessarily want to document every single nut and bolt on the truck. I just wanted to document the general idea of what all I'm doing to it because these videos, I love making them to put on YouTube for you guys to enjoy, but these are really for me. Like, I'm documenting this so I can look back on this in 20 years or whenever, and I can have a copy saved off YouTube and on YouTube. That way, hopefully, I have it in multiple places and I don't lose these videos to look back on, but I just wanted to document it for myself personally. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a thumbs up. Don't forget that if you want to enter to win our 2017 F-250 Power Stroke, today's your last day. This is your last chance. If you haven't checked your email or your text that you get from us, if you're signed up for if you're signed up for text, great. You should have gotten the text to see the deal that we sent you or the email. If you're signed up through emails, we did send you guys an email to check out to get a crazy last minute bonus entry deal for that 2017 Power Stroke plus the cash. That's the best and final offer of this giveaway because it is over tonight at midnight. So thank you guys so much for all the love and all the support. We've got some things in store for the next track. I think you guys are gonna like it, but I cannot reveal it yet because that would ruin the surprise. You guys are awesome. I'll catch you in the next video.